It's another Sunday night approaching, and it means it's Arkansas Crime Watch Night, exclusively on Fox16.com. Mitch McCoy diving into the biggest cases of the weekend. Mitch, the Ebby Stepik case, certainly on a lot of people's minds and on the radar this Sunday. That's absolutely right, Kevin. Good evening. It is. This week marks one year since the remains of Ebby Stepik were discovered in a drainage pipe in West Little Rock. It's been nearly four years since Ebby went missing. The family says it's a murder investigation. It's just hard to imagine that it's been this long. Speaking to us by FaceTime, Lori Jernigan says a day doesn't go by. She doesn't think of her daughter, Ebby Stepik. I know that there's a lot of people working on this case besides the homicide cold case. Um, the FBI is involved. Ebby, 18 at the time, went missing in 2015. Her body was discovered in 2018 in a drainage pipe not far from where her car was found in Chalamont Park. Lori, who says Ebby's case is considered a homicide, says vital information continues to come in. Tips are very important. Um, you know, Time goes by, somebody hears somebody say something or they remember something. Lori says each tip is investigated and she's briefed by detectives regularly. They're being very close lipped about what's going on. So I am updated every about every two weeks. Her desperate plea tonight, if you know something, say something. I think a lot of people know everything, but that's not the case. And Kevin, you might be shocked here, but Lori tells me that some of the tips that have come in have actually resulted in arrests in other cases and other, investigations really? not related to the FBI Stebic investigation. Well, what's encouraging, uh, having heard her response, and I know you interviewed her earlier tonight, but that tips are still coming in for starters and that she's getting updates because in other instances in other cases where people are missing and that their parents don't know where they are yeah. you hear that I'm not getting any information nobody's talking to me but in this case it appears that's the the opposite. She's it, getting the, informed. She's getting updates and it's all from the cold case uh, squad because she, there was, and we've reported on it, a lot of frustration uh, from uh, the, the Ebby Stepik family when the case uh, was not in cold case. So mm -hmm. uh, now that it's in cold case, she says she's, she's getting updates and it was the cold case investigators that actually found Ebby Stepik's remains in that drainage pipe That's right, several yeah. years after she disappeared. So uh, she has faith and she has hope that these cold case investigators will get to the bottom of exactly what happened to Ebby Stepik uh, in Shalomont Park. And real quick, what else can we expect in Crime Watch? We are talking about that Lono County manhunt, uh, the man that uh, deputies say had explosives in his stolen trailer. Yeah, yeah. That search is uh, still continuing and we're calling him Butterfingers. <laughs> uh, but, it, and it's really interesting. Interesting. This guy goes in, robs a gas station, but drops all the cash on the way out. Okay, so good name for him then. Yeah, Butterfingers. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Sunday night, 7.30, fox16.com. Thanks, Mitch. Always yep. appreciate it.